people get sick with a contagious disease, <coughs> doctors put them in quarantine to keep others safe. They isolate the danger quickly to keep it from spreading. Wouldn't you at least expect the same level of protection and safety concern when dealing with radioactive materials? Unfortunately, the nuclear industry is taking the exact opposite approach when it comes to protecting Americans from radioactive waste. They are supporting proposals that would ship this deadly material all over the country using trains, trucks, and barges. We are talking about over 80,000 metric tons of high-level radioactive waste, which weighs more than three Statues of Liberty. Shipping this much radioactive material around the country would put hundreds of millions of people and our freshwater supplies at great risk. We want to stop these plans from being implemented, and we need your help. Here's what you need to know. In the United States, there are currently 99 operating nuclear reactors in 30 states. Each reactor produces 30 to 50 tons of highly radioactive waste every year in the form of spent fuel rods. This waste contains more than 100 different radioactive isotopes, including uranium, plutonium, strontium, and cesium. These rods are so dangerous that even 10 years after being removed from a reactor, they can emit a lethal dose of radiation in just 70 seconds that will kill a person within days. This waste will remain radioactive for hundreds of thousands of years. The federal government promised the nuclear industry that it would build a permanent geologic repository to dispose of radioactive waste in a way that would safeguard people and the environment from its dangers. But no such place has yet been found. And the site that had been politically imposed on Nevada, Yucca Mountain, has proven faulty and inadequate and has been removed from consideration for now. So high-level radioactive waste is piling up at nuclear plants across the country. Plants are running out of storage space, and the owners of these plants are liable for the waste as long as it's in their hands. The yeah. nuclear industry wants to pass this liability on to the government and have taxpayers take responsibility for their waste. Oops by shipping it to government-sanctioned sites for quote-unquote temporary storage. But there is currently no safe way to move this waste, and there is no safe place to store it. Each container the nuclear industry would use to ship its waste would contain more long-lived radioactivity than was released by the Hiroshima atomic bomb. The canisters do not prevent all radiation from escaping. Each shipment will emit radiation constantly, like a roving x-ray machine that can't be turned off. The government allows the nuclear industry to use waste canisters that are less than one inch thick, which makes them susceptible to cracking and leaking deadly radioactive material. They do not have a process for repairing cracked and leaking canisters. If the nuclear industry has its way, shipments of high-level radioactive waste will be traveling all over the country. Their destination? temporary storage facilities in New Mexico and Texas that are strongly opposed by local communities. Moving this waste would entail over 10,000 land shipments and over 2,700 water shipments over the course of 25 years or more. Proposed routes go through or near major cities, including Atlanta, New York City, Chicago, Houston, Las Vegas, and St. Louis. They also go across Lake Michigan, along both coasts, and down major rivers. This waste would be traveling on railways and highways that are currently in such a state of disrepair that the American Society of Civil Engineers gave them a D minus rating. Our infrastructure is not able to safely handle thousands of heavy shipments year after year without accidents. And accidents will happen. There are on average over 400,000 collisions involving large trucks every year. And it is estimated that almost every two weeks, a train derailment will lead to some kind of chemical spill. Imagine if that spill contained long-lived radiation. The results would be devastating. Equally concerning, these radioactive waste shipments could become targets for terrorist attacks or be damaged in natural disasters. The responsible way to deal with the accumulating piles of high-level radioactive waste would be to store it in what's called hardened on-site storage at the nuclear plants where it's being generated. Until a scientifically proven permanent disposal site can be found, 
It's too risky to send this material in unsecured shipments across the country to contested temporary facilities, especially when the waste will only have to be shipped out again in the future. We need to stop the passage of any proposed legislation that would put in motion the transportation of this deadly waste across the country. Please call your U.S. senators and representatives today to voice your opposition to any plans that would transport high-level radioactive waste across the country. To stay informed on this issue, please sign up for action alerts on our website, www.neis.org. Thank you.